This video shows two examples of enlargements using the origin as the centre of enlargement we will enlarge this shape by firstly a factor of plus two and then a factor of negative two. Now to do the positive scale factor we go through each coordinate in turn and ask ourselves the following question. How do we get from the origin to the coordinate? We go across one, up one. So to enlarge by a factor of two, we double this rather than across one, up one. We go across two, up two from the centre of enlargement. For B, rather than across one, up three, go back to the centre of enlargement, across two, up six. And for C, rather than across 5, up 3, back to the centre of enlargement, across 10, up 6. And those are your new coordinates. We just have to join them up to form the shape. Now, a negative scale factor can appear more difficult, but it can be done in such a similar way, with a slight alteration to your method. Now, to do a negative scale factor, you ask yourself, for each coordinate, how do you go from the coordinate back to the centre of enlargement? Now, for A, we have to go left one and down one, and then to double it by a factor of minus two, we then go left two, down two, from the centre of enlargement. So once again, to get from A to the centre was left one, down one. So to double it, we just go left two, down two. B was left one, down three. So to double it, left two, down two. 6. C would be left 5, down 3. So we go left 10, down 6. And then just join all the coordinates together. So with a negative scale factor, yes the shape has been doubled in size, however it appears to move into the other quadrant of the graph. 